if statements are going to be your bread and butter for coding. If statements are conditional statements, which means whatever is inside your braces will not execute unless some sort of condition is met. This prevents all of your code from executing right when your game starts up. For example, here's one line I've written. It says, if something is true, then another thing equals true. So the variable called another thing will never be true unless something is true. For a more practical example, here's one that says, if the exposition of this object is less than zero, which means it went off the left side of the screen, because that's where zero is for x, then instance destroy. So this line of code will simply destroy the object if it leaves the left side of the screen. Other than that, it won't destroy the instance. It's conditional, based on the x position. Now this is just one way to write an if statement, and there are a few ways to write it. However, it's kind of up to you. Here's another way to write it. We have if something is true, brace, next line tabbed over, another thing equals true, next line brace, to close it. This is one common way to write any kind of conditional statement. You write your condition, then a brace, and then tabbed on the next line all of the code that will happen when this condition is met. Another way to approach your braces is like this. So we have if something is true, then tabbed on the next line is your brace, then tabbed is all the things that will happen, and then tabbed on the next line again is your closing brace. This all depends on which environment you're used to outside of GameMaker, such as Java, or C Sharp, or C++. In GameMaker, it really doesn't matter which one you choose as long as you're consistent with how you want to write your code. But let's get back on topic. It's great if you say, if something happens, another thing happens. But what if you want to create kind of a Boolean effect, a true or false? If something happens, then do this. Else, do something else. Here's an example. On one line, I have, if something is true, then this thing is true else this thing is false. So what that means is, if something is true, then this thing equals true. However, at any point in time something is not equal to true, this thing equals false. So rather than running some code on the condition that something is true, you can also say else, which means the opposite of the first statement. So in this case, something is true, else, the opposite of something is something is false, then we can write some more code. Here I have some examples of other ways to write this. We have if something, open brace, this thing is true. Close brace, else, open brace, this thing is false. Likewise, you can do everything on their own line. If something on the next line is brace, next line, next line, else, next line, next line, next line. It all depends on how you want to write it. Just be consistent and make sure it's very legible. So let's get into some practical examples. Here I have, if x is greater than 10, then x minus equals 1. If you remember, minus equal means continually decrement by the value. So x will continually decrement by 1. So at any point in time, if x is greater than 10 as a position, x will minus equal 1. So for instance, if x equaled 12, this code will now happen. And x would then equal 11, and it would run through it again, and x would equal 10. And then we'd be fine, because x is no longer greater than 10. So that means anytime GameMaker gets to this line that says, if x is greater than 10, well, it's not, so it'll ignore whatever's inside your braces. Here's another example. If my object's x position is greater than 10, and, which can also be written with two ampersands, my x is less than 20, we hop inside the code block, and room go to next function is executed. So if my object's x position is somehow in between 10 and 20, then the game will just go to the next room. Here's another example. Here's the function instance exists. If instance exists and we're looking for object Mario 1, then this object will be destroyed. So let's say this is being called from object Mario 2. So object Mario 2 is having a great time inside the game, but now Object Mario 1 exists. Game Maker will get to this line and say, oh, Object Mario 1 now exists. Hop inside this code block and run the code, which is destroy. 
So that means the step that Mario 1 exists is the same step Mario 2 will be destroyed. I hope you see how an if statement works. It's just conditional. You just create some sort of parameter, some sort of condition, and whenever it's met, whether that's in the create event or the step event, which will happen all the time, GameMaker will hop inside the code block, which is in between the two braces, and then run that code until that condition is no longer met.